So I brought you here today because I'm going to be filming a music video, um, and I have two concepts that I need help uh, deciding between. Uh, the first one is a song called I Robot by John Bellion. Uh, the narrative follows um, this guy walking to a meeting with his girlfriend, and the girlfriend will break up with him. However, the video will start with him at the meeting, with the girlfriend about to give him the news, but then the video will suddenly play in reverse, and so will be him walking home backwards, per se, if you understand what I mean, so it's played in reverse. Um, they will have lots of interesting visuals, uh, visuals like, a lot, a lot of juxtaposition, so obviously, on the way there, he's obviously happy because he's going to meet his girlfriend, but playing it backwards, it looks like he's getting probably more and more sad, so on the way there, he starts with his hood up and then puts his hood down, but backwards, he'll have put his hood up. On the way, he finds a flower and he picks it, but obviously backwards, it looks like he's putting it back, and at the very beginning, or, and, and the end, he... Uh, receives a text message that he, they want to meet and is happy about it, but in backwards, he will stop being happy about it and the text message will disappear. So that's going to be the ending shot. But he also cut between that and um, a sort of just a very bright white background of the main character just lip-syncing to the lyrics. I'm also going to try and... Uh, the, uh, the main narrative of the guy walking home, I'm going to try to um, get him to lip-sync backwards. So when I'm filming it, he'll I'll record it forwards and then play it back, and it'll look like he's lip syncing it backwards, even though he's moving backwards. So it'll look uh, interesting on a visual level. Um, the uh, the guy who's also him lip syncing in the uh, the white background as well. He'll have a sort of intricate face paint that's slowly appearing on his face as well to show that he's slowly becoming a robot uh, in the uh, emotional sense. Uh, the second one is for the song "Woke the Fuck Up" by John Bellion. Um, this one will be more stylistic in a, in a narrative sense, so the story will be more interesting than the visuals. Uh, and it will be based inside the main character's head. Um, and it will be a piece of his consciousness that has been trapped by other pieces of his consciousness who have taken control and excuse me, um, being more uh, serious and making the, uh, the guy act more serious and focus more on his work than enjoying himself. Then suddenly they will disappear and the guy frees himself and um, so the, the, the setting will look sort of like this. So the screen will resemble what the guy sees and then he'll have like a, a keyboard that he uses to control it. And he tries to make the guy enjoy himself a bit more. And towards the end of the song, the, um, the piece of consciousness that's trying to make him enjoy himself is being pulled away and try to be imprisoned again. Um, and the guy becomes a bit more serious again, but it's, I leave it uh, open-ended to see whether or not he gets free and balances out his seriousness and enjoys himself. Um, and there's a few other um, uh, bits of use in there, like um, when he's enjoying himself, he meets a girl and is very happy. But towards the end of it, he tries, he begins to sort of neglect her and focus on his work a bit more. And then I think I was going to include a shot of a really quick shot of inside the girl's head as well to show that everyone has that sort of mentality as well. So those are the two ideas. Um, which one do you think would work better? I will start with you. I robot. Well, that I do. Any reason for it, or it just sounds cool? Yeah. Uh, quite different and unique. I think that both plots sound like quite intriguing. They don't obviously they don't necessarily follow the word of the song exactly to the word, but they definitely have strong links to what the songs are about. Uh, I robot seems quite intricate though. Cool. Uh, as much as I <clears throat> certainly admire the sort of almost inside-out concept that you've applied to Woke the Fuck Up with the different emotions and things, I feel like iRobot is approaching from a really unique angle in terms of the reverse video. That in particular piques my interest as to how you're actually going to do that and how you're actually going to make that work. But if it's something that you're able to pull off, then both visually and narratively I think that would be the better idea.